Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and this is the series where we try to fully complete The Sims 3. And I am particularly excited for this episode because today we're going to get Pete and Ayesha married. In the game we'll do that on Sunday, however right now it's Saturday. So we'll start this episode with our usual routine. After getting up Pete will start with a breakfast. Yeah, you're an animal, aren't you? And Ayesha will do the same. And then both of them will work out. Ayesha, because we need to increase her athletic skill for her career. And actually by quite a lot, we need two more points. And Pete to slowly but steadily work himself towards completion of the skill challenges for the athletic skill. And very conveniently, a wish pops up for Pete that goes along quite nicely with what I have planned for today. Yes, we're going to promise him to marry Ahisha. That was the plan all along, but 5000 lifetime happiness points on top. Who could say no to that? And as you can see in the career tab for Ahisha, we are doing very well in all regards except for the athletic skill. Um, and one thing I believe I didn't mention in the last episode, with the last promotion we exchanged the partner requirement for the logic requirement, but she is already doing pretty well there, so we can leave that aside for now. Alright, Ahisha has reached level 7 of the athletic skill, unlocking Quick Burst, but we do have quite a bit of time on our hands with her right now, so we'll stick to Push Self, that should do the job for now. And one more hour until Pete's carpool arrives, yes it's Saturday and he has to work again, so we'll line up a shower, end his workout here, and then he can go off to work. Okay, we actually do have a bit of time on our hands, so he can also quickly clean the shower before he leaves, and then at work we'll have him prepare for the game, which is tomorrow. Alright, thank you for that, and off you go. Um, Pete is actually in line to get another promotion today, which will come with a nice cash bonus, that we'll at least in parts use to prepare for our wedding. But we'll get to that in a bit. Okay, jumping ahead two hours, Pete has gotten a nice little race at work. 20 simoleons per hour, that is actually quite a bit. Great job! And just a few moments later, we get a nice skill opportunity for Pete, this time related to the handiness skill. Let's accept that for now, but I'm actually not quite sure whether or not I want him to try and repair a TV and risk electrocution, because let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Pete is still at level 1 of the handiness skill. Well, we'll see what we do with that. We could also just sell the TV from the family inventory. That might actually be a good idea, if we knew how much we get as a reward. Um, let's stick with it. Put the TV inside and then we'll see how we proceed. Alright, Ahisha has trained until fatigued, she is done with her workout for now, and she will not learn the handiness skill, at least not for now. And no reason to freak out, that's just the TV. Let's have her take a shower, grab a bite to eat and then she can practice chess, more or less the usual stuff for her. Okay, while Ahisha is practicing chess at home, Pete has finished his day at work. He's already making quite a good amount of money. And here is the promotion I promised. Pete is now team captain and gets a bonus of over 2000 simoleons. Congratulations. And likely thanks to that bonus, he now has the wish to purchase an item worth at least 1000 simoleons. And as we go into build mode to fulfill that wish, we can see that adding the furnished lot value to our household funds comes out to be a bit over 50,000 simoleons. That would already be halfway to the living in the lap of a luxury lifetime wish, which requires that to be 100,000. Simoleons. Well, we quickly bought an oven. We're not going to use that now, but eventually we might, and it's the best, so that only makes sense. Uh, let's quickly get back to the lifetime wishes. There's a total of 30 in the base game, and I honestly don't plan on having 30 different sims throughout the series. So I think the best solution is to tackle multiple lifetime wishes with one sim, even though we only can get a reward for one of them per sim. So for example, with Ahisha we could get Perfect Mind, Perfect Body, and also Chess Legend, but only grab the points for the first one. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think of that, I believe it makes a lot of sense right now. Alright, Ahisha has improved her logic skill to level 7 and she has the wish to train Pete. So we'll quickly fulfill her that. And then, since all of her needs are pretty well in check, she can go back to the chess table. 
Okay, something I noticed and that I don't understand. You might remember from the very beginning of the video that the smiley next to Ahisha's report requirement was bright green, such as the one next to mood or logic. That has changed, for whichever reason. I really don't know why, it might have to do with the multitasker lifetime reward? Again, I have no idea. If anyone out there knows why this happens and how we can prevent it, um, I'd be glad about a quick comment. For this episode though, we have to work with it. Alright, since Pete has a game tomorrow, let's stop his workout now at about 1am. We need to make sure he gets a good night of sleep before that, and then we can take care of the broken TV. I have decided that Pete will not yet risk his life, so we won't have him repair the thing. Instead, we can call the repairman for 50 simoleons and have him take care of it. I sincerely hope that the reward we get in the end makes this worth it. Alright, the repairman will come in about an hour. Time to get a shower in and then head off to bed. The repair technician Clark has arrived and is now in a more or less professional way taking care of the broken TV. While I doubt that this is how you actually fix a TV, doing it this way makes sure the thing actually gets repaired and nobody dies. Thank you, I think that's 50 simoleons well spent. And now we can also send Ayesha off to bed. After all, tomorrow is the big day and it would be a shame if she's all tired. So with Pete and Ahisha both in bed, I will do a few preparations and then see you the next morning. Okay, as you can see, things have changed a bit in the house of Pete and Ahisha. Most notably, I have moved the chess table inside and rearranged a few other things. Also, you might notice that the chairs here are missing and they are outside, where I have prepared a beautiful small spot where the wedding can take place. The entire setup cost me roughly 450 simoleons, so it was fairly cheap and the wedding will take place in the evening, so the two torches should illuminate the whole scene very nicely. And yes, I know that it's almost Pete's birthday, but we have two more days to wait for that, so let's focus on the wedding, shall we? So I would like the wedding to be small scale, but not completely private. Therefore, we'll have to throw a wedding party, and Pete is about to take care of that. We will invite only a few people. Basic rule of thumb in every Sims game, the more people you invite, the more can go wrong. So we'll choose Ahisha's former partner, Blair Wainwright, and then all three of Pete's teammates. The party type will be a wedding party, we'll set the start time to 8pm, Pete has a game beforehand and I also don't plan for the whole thing to go that long, so that should be fine. Formal attire it is and then we can get things underway. During the night I have also put the repair TV back into the family inventory, so Pete can now go and return it and complete the opportunity. With a party coming up, Pete also has the wish to make it a great one, so to make sure of that let's quickly grab a handy lifetime reward. And that would be for 5000 lifetime happiness points, the legendary host. And that is an interesting skill opportunity for Ayesha. I don't really care for the improved relationship, but gaining some logic skill from what seems to be only one interaction, that is very convenient. In the meantime, Pete has arrived to return the broken and now fixed TV, so let's see how that goes. Barbel flaunts mana. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we received 500 simoleons as a reward for that, but we did spend 50 on the repairman. So actually, it would have been better, at least financially, to just sell the TV. Well, at least we still made a profit. So here we are, roughly one and a half hours later with Ayesha, who despite having three chairs inside, decided to have her breakfast outside, close to where she's going to get married in a few hours. While Pete is putting in a bit of work in the background, Ayesha can now take on the skill opportunity we just received and I'm very interested to see whether or not that's really just one interaction to complete it. Alright, here we are, our target is outside and uh, let's see. Oh, that was all. Well, that went even quicker than I thought it would. Oh, lovely. That's a nice boost to the logic skill for very little effort. So yeah, that was quick and easy. Very nice. So here we have Pete and Ahisha, both working out right now, but for Pete his game is coming close, he needs to leave in about an hour, so before he does we can quickly send him to the shower and then also prepare his outfit for the wedding ceremony. Alright, here he is, fresh and clean and already in his outfit for work, and speaking of outfit, we are now putting something together for the special occasion today. 
Ta-da! Let me present to you Pete Complete's wedding outfit. I tinkered a bit with creator style because I wanted something bright but not too colorful and I think this works pretty well. With that out of the way we can send Pete off to work and switch back to Ayesha. For her the same procedure. After wrapping up the workout here she'll take a shower and then we can take care of her outfit. Um, apparently not so fast. Pete's game was, just like the last one, a huge success, but it was over a bit quicker than I expected it to be. So let's just make sure that Pete is definitely going home, because there is a wedding coming up. Alright, now back to Ikisha. Out of the shower, and that is her current formal outfit. I don't think it's horrible, but it's not really suitable to get married in. So this is going to be her outfit. Once again, bright without being too colorful, we will have our wedding in the evening and it should be a bit dark by then. And of course we want to make sure we can actually see our lovely couple. And since I decided against providing my wedding guests with food, Pete and Ayesha are quickly grabbing a bite outside. And uh, here we can see the first guest arrive. And now I realize I forgot to lock the door for everyone but my household. Well, feel right at home. Alright, Pete changed into his suit, looking absolutely great. I have also now locked the door to our home. We will have to unlock that for a few seconds to get this guy back out. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Congratulations, Marty broke the laptop. You see, that is what happens when you let people inside your house. You know what, I have actually decided to lock Marty inside our home. That's what you get for breaking stuff at a wedding. But now, let's put all negativity aside, because it's about to happen. Pete and Aisha are going to get married, and I am going to shut up for that. <laughs> Isn't this lovely? Ayesha Ansari is now officially Ayesha Complete. I don't really know if I like that name, but hey, we got married. Abruzzi, get up! Alright, now enough of the festivities, party's over, you had your fun, now it's Pete and Ayesha's turn. And also very nice, Pete and Ayesha both got a few days off for getting married, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to be exact. Pete also received 750 lifetime happiness points, because thanks to legendary host, the wedding was a huge success with everyone invited. Well, probably apart from Marty. Thanks to that guy we now have to call the repair technician again. Before we do so we can quickly grab another lifetime reward for Pete. We got 5000 points for getting married, let's spend those on multitasker. Ding nang, Fuji ding nang. Mmm, Donsel, Shibimini dink. All right, the repair technician will come in about an hour. We will put in a super quick workout, just so that Ayesha can fulfill her wish of training someone. Kudonk, Kumok, Ha! Blexor, Ikipanu! Okay, that's it. Off to bed with both of you. And here is the repairman again, taking care of that broken laptop. And thank you for that. We can now finally wrap this episode up. Pete and Ahisha are now husband and wife, and I believe the future holds great things for both of them. And I should know, because, well, to some extent, I create that future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.